was a brush with death for a St. Louis police officer when he and his partner were shot in Sular two weeks ago tonight. And for his family, it brings back painful flashbacks. Tonight, his wife talks with Fox 2's Jasmine Huda about how she's coping as this wasn't the first time he's been shot in the line of duty. It's a scenario that all police wives dread. An officer is shot. Well, the family of St. Louis police officer Lucas Roethlisberger has now been through this harrowing experience not once, but twice. Honestly said a, a prayer to God thanking him for bringing Lucas home. It was a night of prayers and panic for Courtney Roethlisberger. I didn't know he was shot until I got up to the hospital. Her husband and father of their three children 38 year old St. Louis police officer Lucas Roethlisberger still has a bullet lodged in the side of his torso after a robbery suspect shot him and another officer in Soulard February 2nd. So I woke up to let him know I was leaving the house. I said, I'm leaving. Dad's in the hospital. Um, it was difficult. Um, could have cried. <laughs> um, my oldest was two the first time. The first time Officer Roethlisberger was shot was in 2010. He was shot three times during a traffic stop. The bullet severed his artery and he had two strokes. This latest shooting wasn't as serious, but the emotional pain is, especially for their youngest. Why, why did somebody shoot my dad? And it's just, it's heart wrenching to hear that. How did you cope? with him being on full duty after that initial 2010? <laughs> um, just a lot of um, reassuring myself that he was going to be okay. Um, knowing that he was called to do this job. He loves what he does. He loves protecting the city and he wants to make sure that everybody is safe. They go in there and they do their job because they took that oath. I tell him every day how proud I am of him and his courage and determination. Officer Roethlisberger has been with the department for 14 years. It is unclear when or if he will return to work. Courtney Roethlisberger says she is grateful for the support that she has gotten from the police department and other police families. Jasmine Huda, Fox 2 News.